Now this is the ultrasound study of uh, primarily renal disease. Has been referred for uh, vomiting for the last few months and dyspnea now and autopnea as well. What we are what is in front of your picture is the kidney, right kidney with uh, liver. <coughs> this is the liver. <coughs> so this is the right diaphragm and this is the right kidney weighing 15.3 by 6.5 <coughs> or the 7. This is the right kidney. This is the upper pole of the right kidney. This is the mid region. This is the lower pole of the right kidney. So this is the longitudinal view of the right kidney with uh, this being this area being the liver. You can see that there are numerous <coughs> so there are numerous variable size cystic area seen involving all of the renal parenchyma. The renal anatomy is large central sinus complex is not seen. However, the proportion of the parenchyma is the this area at the upper pole and in the upper the lower pole as well. This is the parenchyma reticulum. It is thinned out rather. There are numerous variable size cystic areas occupying all of the renal area in all upper, mid and lower regions. Now, <coughs> from thin size small to larger size, all type of this are seen. And the kidney is enlarged in the sense that uh, the normal dimension of the kidney in length uh, it should not exceed more than uh, 11. In this case, it is 15.3 uh, centimeters, and the anterior posterior diameter should not increase more than 5. It is 7.0. So the kidney is alive with multiple cystic area. The arrows are indicative of cystic area. With us all of the renal and uh, within these cystic areas we do see calcifications these are the calcifications this is the cyst this is the cystic area, note the shaggy margin, irregular margins of the cyst. This is a cyst. This is a part of the parenchyma, and the parenchyma is relatively preserved. <coughs> and uh, this is a cyst. This is a cyst. Of the right kidney, these are the cysts, and the cysts are non communicating, have irregular shaggy powders. This is the lower pole, mid region, and this is the upper pole diaphragm is seen. So it has uh, calcifications in it. This is the right kidney, these are the calcifications. There are many calcifications of which two are being shown in this view. One measuring 11 millimeters at the lower pole, second measuring 7 millimeters that is also seen at the lower pole. Now you see that the largest cyst is 
at the uh, lower port that weighs approximately three point six into four point four centimeters and uh, these are tiny cystic areas numerous. They are all non-communicating and we do see calcification giving exterior care of more so in the lower port uh, region. Now the current time of this kidney is preserved and upward now this is the upper pore current primal thickness, 18.8, it is preserved, whereas the internal anatomy is lost. You see multiple tiny echogenic areas in the region of the renal medulla, or the current time. the transfer section. And you can see the, the right with the vein entering the hilum of the pit. You can see the calcification leads to in this region. that there is fluid above the diaphragm in the pleural space. With air and lung tissue seen in it. Now this is the border of the river. This is the river, this is, this is the fluid, this is the air with the shadow. This is the fluid in the plural space, so there is uh, plural effusion as well. And what about the left side? This is the spleen, and we can see fluid in the above the diaphragm in the left plural space as well. This is the spleen, this area, this, and uh, this is the field in the, above the diaphragm in the plural space, left plural space. So there is field in both plural right and left plural spaces. This is the field in the right plural space. This is the river. So there is bilateral refusion. Now what is the status of the kidney? You see that this kidney also shows the same appearance as we saw in the right kidney. Here the kidney may have approximately 15.7 centimeters in length and lie at uh, 5.6 centimeters in interior posterior diameter. This is the left kidney in transfer section, uh, in longitudinal section. This is the calcification. Calculus within the left kidney. This is the upper pole of the left kidney, and you can see that there are numerous uncountable non-communicating cystic areas with calcifications between them this is a calcified area and the outer walls the wall of the cysts are shaggy none of the cysts is communicating with each other 
non communicating cysts. This is the mid region of the left kidney. Again, see the number, number of cysts, the calcification. This is the calcified area, that's called stichogenic. This is that these are all cystic area. That is communicating the taking margins. And here you can see a large calculus at the lower port amongst the now this is the largest calculus of all. 15.5. This is the left kidney in longitudinal section. You can see the shadow of the from the calculus. There are multiple tiny holes with larger calculus. This is another calculus. Multiple calculus I have seen. And if you note the current timer, the current timer of this kidney is This 
up in the uterus, it reflects because of inadequately failed urinary bladder. The uterus is normally dimensioned or totally unseen in this region. Do we have CSS in any other region? You see that the hepatic veins are dilated, they give funny signs of appearance. These are things. This is a light hepatic vein, the middle hepatic vein is a hepatic vein, and the IBC is not dilated, though the subpostal view of the heart does show dilation of all the chapters of the heart. She has changes in both kidneys and uh, loss of uh, corticomedullary differentiation and bilateral perfusion with the cyclists. 